and we are live from the quarantines. Coach Josh, welcome to a Monday morning's workout. We are here at the uh, at, at our mock living room in the dojo, and we're starting off the week with a story about two friends, one pig, one chicken. And, uh, you know, the uh, due to recent events with the coronavirus outbreak and uh, the ambient uh, just stress and, and fear that's, uh, that's bogging out so many people, uh, the pig and the chicken want to cheer up their friend, the farmer. And uh, they're trying to, they're brainstorming on ways that they could, you know, you know, have an impact, have a positive impact on, the, on this guy's mindset. And they're, they're going back and forth and, uh, the chicken's like, well, you know, the farmer really likes breakfast. So could, uh, maybe we could create a breakfast for him. And uh, that, would be, that would be very exciting. So uh, pig's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, okay, okay what, what can we make for breakfast? And uh, the chicken looks around and he's like, I can contribute eggs. Eggs is what I can contribute. And the, uh, the, uh, the, the pig's like, oh, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, I, I like where your head's at. Um, what could I contribute? And uh, the chicken's thinking, he's like, you could contribute ham. The farmer loves ham. And the pig looks at him and says, yeah, that's a good suggestion. See, while you're over there contributing some eggs, I'm pretty committed by the time I'm giving up the ham and the bacon. But I like that story because it, it, it demonstrates the different levels of commitment that people have to things. Like, are you interested or are you committed? Are you contributing or are you all in? And right now, with your health, fitness, and your, your mindset, you gotta be all in. You gotta be all in on strength. You gotta be all in on your, on your health because it's gonna take everything you got to, to keep going to finish this thing stronger than when you started. So today we gotta be like the pig. And not the chicken. Today we gotta we gotta be all in. So we're going to uh, we're gonna do a fun uh, hurricane workout, and we're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna stretch out those hips because all that sitting is slowly killing us. So uh, I've got my uh, my knee pad. I'm here on the ground. I'm taking a knee, and I'm gonna do a half kneeling arm circle. So what I'm gonna do is pushing my lead foot into the floor, pushing the trail foot into the floor. So now my glutes are on, pelvis is tucked. I'm taking my hand and I'm going to rotate forward. Rip cage stays down, pressure in the front, the front leg and the back leg. I'm letting that shoulder blade slide out, reaching up, coming up high overhead. And I'm here again, rip cage down, lifting up. I'm going to rotate the arm all the way back. I'm going to shut that door behind me. Bring that palm facing the sky, shoulders are waking the ears, drop that down. Then I'm gonna go reverse, reverse the direction. Still stretching that hip, rib cage down, breathing, pushing that palm back, rotating out, all the way back up, biceps gonna come by the ear. Squeezing out, coming back forward. Nice. The shoulder and neck is loosened up. Then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. So, rotating, pushing the shoelaces in the floor on the back side. Lead leg into the floor, hips tight, getting that stretch on. Chest up. Here, again, letting that shoulder articulate. I'm not trying to hurry through this. I want to go slowly. So I get all the value and benefit stretching that lat. Reach down, put that bicep up by my ear. Rotating that arm like a rotisserie chicken again. Coming back through, all the way down. Push behind me, let that shoulder slide away from the ear. Then when I come back, I'm doing the same thing. Hips on, rip cage down. Rotating out. Calmly moving that arm back up. I get here, rib cage pulls down, shoulder gets high, really stretching, using everything I got. Pushing forward, pushing forward. All the way through that complete range of motion. Nice. Now stretch out the hips and the arm. I'm going to go ahead and do some downward dog. 
So if you're a yoga person, you're probably better at this than me. Bear with me. I like this for what it does for the shoulders and the hamstrings. I'm going to use this again to get my high plank. So I'm here. I'm going to kick my butt into the air. I'm going to tuck my elbows in. Then I'm going to pedal to the floor here. Flat in the air. Pedaling. Try to touch those heels to the floor. I'm going to drop down into a side block push up. Come down, look up. Take a big breath. I'm going to exhale. Come right back in. Elbows are supposed to be in. Bring it to the pinky. You're going to pedal. Still breathing. Still breathing. Pedal here for a few seconds. Do another dive pop. Inhale. And then come back to the plank. Nice. Stretch the back, hips, calves. Now we're going to do that. A little more emphasis on the arms because we will be doing some push ups today. Over here, we're going to do an inchworm. Feet about hip width apart. I'm going to come down, touch the ground, walk out into a full plank. If you have it in you, give yourself a push up. If not, you're going to lead the hips all the way back, touch the toes. Come out, all the way back, press the toes, come out. So I'm going to go back and forth. Add the push up as I need to. Do five reps. This is working for me. Already feeling my heart rate get up, stretching out those hamstrings. Shoulders get warmed up. Now, we're going to do a hurricane today. Hurricane is a brief and powerful storm. And one of the things that we need to do in a hurricane is we need to get that heart rate up. So, traditionally, we would sprint, whether it's on a treadmill or outside. But today, we're going to do either squats or kettlebell swings. I know a lot of you have kettlebells at home. I'm going to use a kettlebell today. If you don't have a kettlebell, every time I say, whether it's a warm-up or a set of kettlebell swings, just do a set of squats. So you'll do between 10 and 20 body weight squats, depending on where you're at. So I will be doing the swing. You can squat along if you don't have any tools with you. Whatever your kettlebell you have at home, you can use that. We're going to warm up our hinge pattern. So I'm going to step in front of my kettlebell. Practice the hinge. I like to overemphasize it, meaning making making my range of motion a lot more than I normally would. So I'm going to reach back. That kettlebell is behind me. Got to touch that kettlebell, the handle of the kettlebell, and drive my hips forward. Touch, drive my hips forward. Let that hip travel back. Really open up my body to that range of motion. Again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you're just going to do squats now. I'm going to do 10 reps here. We'll do 10 squats. I'm going back and forth. Once I get my 10th rep, I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to stand over my kettlebell. I'm going to continue to warm up the pattern. Now I'm going to make it more realistic because I'm, the, the kettlebells are still beneath me. So I'm going to do 10 reps, dropping my hips back, driving my glutes forward. This is more what I'll look like when I'm swinging. A little bit easier. Pressure's in my full foot. Not just the front of the foot, not just the back of the foot, but my full foot. Imagine a tripod, pressure on the heel, pressure on the ball of the pinky toe and the ball of the big toe. So I'm going back and forth. You're doing 10 squats again. I'm done with my 10 reps. Now, I'm going to pick up my kettlebell. I'm going to do a kettlebell deadlift. So, still warming up that pattern. You're still warming up the squat. We're going to get a little bit sweaty before we start to retrain really hard. So, we're going to do another set of 10. This time, I'm going to pick my kettlebell up from the floor and set it down. Pick it up, set it down. Pick it up, set it down. So, I'm going to do 10 reps again. We will do 10 squats. Nice. Feeling 
You want to hit my butt? This is good. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm very happy about that. Now, I'm going to do some kettlebell swings. So if you're doing squats, you'll do squats instead of the swing. Depending on the load you have. It has a pretty heavy load, so I'm not going to do more than that. If you have a really light kettlebell because you have a tiny one, that's all you have, we'll do 20 swings. So this is going to be a warm up set for the set that you'll do at home. So between 10 to 20. I uh, squat, you don't have a, a kettlebell, but do the perfect swing. The butt's going to be back, the chest is up. I'm going to pitch, slow. Then I'm going to let that kettlebell pull me over into the hinge. I'm going to do 10 swings. Then I'm going to put it back. Nice. So, woo! All right, I heard it is up high, high down. That was really, that felt really good. Hopefully, you're in the groove now. Your heart rate is up. As I explain what this hurricane is gonna be like. So, we're gonna do three exercises, all in a row. Take a brief 30 second rest at the end, or so. We're gonna do each circuit three times, and then we'll move on to the next circuit of three. First exercise is always going to be the kettlebell swing. So I'm going to do 10 swings. Again, you'll use what you have at home. I'll do 10 swings. You'll do whatever you have. Second exercise would be a push up with a knee, knee tuck to the opposite elbow. So what does that look like? I'm here. I'm going to do a push up. I'll take my right leg, come across. Push up, take my left leg, come across, push, and I'm gonna alternate that way. So I'm getting that hip mobility while we're training the upper body, really important. Now, if you're at home, you, you're doing push ups from a couch or a countertop, everything works the same. I'm just going to do the push, touch, touch. So, Every push-up, you touch both elbows. Didn't say that, but I did demonstrate it. Every push-up, both elbows. Okay, got that clarity. Now, we're gonna go right into the sprinter crunch, and that's finished. So, sprinter crunch, you're here. Left foot, left hand come back. Switch, switch your arms are looking good. Right foot, right hand. We're gonna do eight reps on each side. So, You'll do 16 crunches total on that one. And then you're gonna go back to the beginning, which you're gonna rest for about 30 seconds before. So swing, push up to uh, knee to elbow, and then sprinter crunch. Do that three times, then we'll move on to the next round. Whew. Exciting. All right, so. Hopefully you're having water, you're drinking it. We're going to begin our indoor hurricane, starting in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Exhale forcefully on the squat or the swing, whatever you're doing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So good. And push up. One push up. Both elbows. Two push ups. Both elbows. We like the plank. Three. Four. Five. Six. Push through the pinkies. See if you can be strong. Keep your shoulders strong. Seven. And then finally, eight. Woo! Back. It's real. Spirit crunch. So I'm here on the ground. That's one per side. Pulling that foot in, the same side. Pull that, that arm in. Two per side. Three per side. Four. 
corporate side. Five. Six. Almost up. Seven. Wow. Eight. Okay. Oh, microphone trouble. All right, now the wake. Round one complete. About 30 seconds of rest. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Now we're back in action. Okay. Again, 10 swings. Hips back, chest up. I thought you were about to pull you over. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Right here is the push up. Only good reps. Only good reps. One, two, three. Don't be in a hurry. That speed strength is just strength. That's four. That was five. That was six. That was seven. And eight. Yes. All right. Square crunch again. All right. That's one. Same side. Left heel comes back. Left arm comes back. Two. Three, four, finish strong, five, almost up, six, seven, eight, woohoo, all right, second round now, one more round to go, make sure you're resting. This is as fatiguing as you can get. You'll have like a sprint, might be as difficult, but it's not more difficult. So you wanna make sure that you're getting adequate rest, keep you strong and powerful for each round. All right. I'm ready to get my last set. That's right, last set. Back to the swing. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Exciting. Push ups. Feel strong now. All the way down, all the way up. Reach for those elbows. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Sprinter crunch. All set. Elbow, left foot comes back, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ha. All right. Grab your water, short break. Going right here from here and do the next circuit, which is gonna be a swing, a sit out, and then you grab and reach. So, 
A lot of people, I want to demonstrate the sit-out really quick. A lot of people are talking about how you sit out, there's no easy. Well, the sit-out doesn't need to be violent, it needs to be smooth. So if your neighbors are complaining, try not to slam your hands into the ground of your feet. Instead, try to be smooth and graceful. So when I go to do my sit-out, knees are up, pivoting to the outside, kicking the foot through, not touching the ground though, pulling right back to where I started, like a ninja. We'll be doing five per side. Then we're gonna do knee grab and reach, which is shoulder and ab drill. So here, throwing up, back down, join the hands and knees, up. Every time you get your shoulder blades back on the ground, that's one. So, we're rolling through three rounds of swings, sit outs, deep grabs, and reaches. When we're done with that, we're going to our final set and then our homework, but remember you're still resting about 30 seconds in between your exercises so that you're ready to be strong and powerful for getting a set. I'm gonna hit my water and then we get here. Okay, time for the kettlebell swing. Again, I'm gonna stick with 10. If you've been off more than you should, you can go ahead and modify the reps. Whatever you need to do, keep that technique in. Drop my hips down, chest up. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Stand strong. From here, sit up. So, one on each side. Hitting the outside foot, kicking through two, three, four, and five. From there, we grab the reach. Don't need to hit the hands, reach it up overhead. One, two, it's good for your shoulders, back, four, Five, we're doing 12, by the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve reps, the knee grab, reach, and we're back to the beginning. Make sure you give yourself a recovery break. I'm really glad to have the opportunity to do this conditioning. Apparently, my body really needs it. So I'm getting all kinds of training signals. Heart rate's up, muscles are burning, head rate's firing, all these cylinders, brain's awake. Okay. Maybe Josh needs to do a little bit more conditioning in his daily life, post quarantine. When I make it to Groundhog's Day, I'm gonna write in my journal. Don't forget about the conditioning, brother. Second set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the floor, we're gonna sit outs. It's one, two, three, four, five. Ha! Big grab and reach. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, reach it overhead, 11, 12, yeah, second set down, woohoo, feeling it, hopefully you are too, coming up on the last set, the second round, now it's time to check in with your fitness. Are you the pig or are you the chicken? Are you fully committed or did you just want to contribute some time, some energy, some effort? If you're the pig, like me, so you're ready to do your third set. Last set! Last set! And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the sit out to the floor. And one, two, keep those feet and knees together. Not together, but close to your hands, sorry. Four, four, five. Microphone issues. Too quick on the sit up. When you sit out, you're going into the knee grab and reach. One, two, three. Four, make sure you keep those arms high. Five, stretch those last. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> okay, almost done. We've got our third circuit to do. We're going to do the swings again while you're resting. Check it out. We're going to do mountain climbers and fall leg the ups. The mountain climber, we're going to be on our hands. So we're going to do the same side. We need the elbows. So we're crossing earlier, now we're going to do the same side. So I'm here. I'm going to go right, left, right, left. Ten per side. When that's over with, I'm going to come down to my all leg V up. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to be kicking my foot to the ceiling, trying to touch my shoelaces. But with both hands, not just one. Looks like this. One, two. The goal is to get the heel over the hip, not to move out here, and then reach way out. So you want to stretch that hamstring to get that active hamstring, then it develops. So, you're gonna do five on each side of the all leg up, meaning every other one is one. Ha! Okay. So, you got your swings, get your mountain climbers, all leg ups. All right, we're in the final stretch. Let's practice our fitters. Hot up! All right, and go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha ha. Now climbers. So here, same side. One, two, push through the pinky. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. From here, we're gonna go to the all leg the up. I have to build some sort of a harness for my mic that just falls out. It's two. Three, 
shoulder blades up, off the ground, and five. All right. So, round one done. Round two, coming up next. Get your oxygen, get your water, breathe, ready for action. Starting my second round, kettlebell swings. I'm gonna let my heart rate come down a little bit more. I feel like I'm in the middle of a sprint right now. So, I'm gonna keep working on that. Breathing, if you're ready to go, you can go ahead and start. Go through that circuit. All right, I'm ready to join in. Coming through. Second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Okay. Mount climbers coming up next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry, ten. Ten per side. Nine. Ten. All leg the ups. The microphone in there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's it. I don't need side. All right. That moment I've been waiting for for 25 minutes. It's final round. Last set. That's it. That's right. Bring it out home, warriors. Ten reps. To the swing or the squat, whatever you're doing. Come back. Yeah. All right. Not climbers. Bring it on home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Force in my delirium. I didn't do the same size. Your crossbody? Whatever. Just finished strong, Josh. Just been a strong and handsome devil. Okay. All leg the ups. Five per side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ha. Ha. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Get your water. We're going to do our homework. We need a bit of a break for that. Okay. <clears throat> Four exercises. Chin up, push up, knee grab, sit up. Today, I will be doing a little of the chin up. I'll be doing swimmers. If you have a chin up bar at home, you can do chin ups instead of the exercise I'm about to show you, which is just this. Feet on the floor, reaching out, pulling the hands in. Nothing's touching the ground here. Just swimming through the air. Elbows in tight. Eyes about 12 inches in front of you. You do that for 20 seconds. Then you're going to go into the push up. Straight push up or front bench or whatever you need to get home. Feet knees together, all the way down, all the way up. All the 
all the way down, all the way up. Additionally, we're going to do sit outs, which we already did in our workout. We're going to do some more. We're here, kicking through, come back, kicking through. And finally, the knee grab, which will be the variation of as well. But this will be with no reach. Here on the back. Oh, sorry, no reach. Just grip the shins. Go back down. Grip the shins. Come back down. So, those are the drills. We're going to do 20 seconds of each, working our way through. It's going to be 10 seconds of rest in between. I will narrate when the rest periods are if you don't have a timer at home that you're following along with. So, here is my timer. We're starting in three, two, starting with the swimmer. Go. I'm swimming. Just not worry about the reps, just worry about the quality of movement the entire time. So I'm pulling through the water, looking at upper back for the next six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds to transition from whatever you were doing to the push up. Starting a new push up in. Two, one, two. Pull under the plank. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten seconds left. Ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From there, moving into the sit up. The sit out. Just worry about being smooth. Train the whole time. Give the outside foot, making it look good. Rock and roll. Five, four, three, two. And finally, coming into the knee grab. So I'm on my back. And go. Grab the shins, pull the waist around as quick as you can. Good technique. 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. You did it. I did it. We did it. So, with that, perishes the hurricane for your Monday. Hurricane is a brief and powerful storm, causes a lot of damage, and then it goes away. At times like this, everybody's been asking me what I'm doing for my fitness. Short workouts. I'm already stressed. I don't know anybody who's not stressed. So I don't want to be training for 90 minutes. I don't want to be doing bouts of super strenuous exercise. I really don't even want to be doing heavy squats right now, even though I miss squatting. I don't want to load my nervous system up. I need to stay fresh. I need to stay in recovery mode. I need to stay sharp. And it's really easy to get overloaded especially if you're not getting that quality sleep or doing those other nutrition things that you gotta do to keep your mind right and your heart right over the course of the coming however long. Good job, Warriors.